unfortunately, maybe the child is brought for baptism and that's their first real powerful encounter with Christ. But if they don't encounter Christ daily in their home, uh, in their community of faith, because maybe they're not being brought to have access to that community of faith, then, you know, we can't really expect them to live that new life if they're not even told that there is a new life. If the baptism is reduced to, oh, that's the day we give you your name, or that's the day you became a member of God's family or a child of God, but they're not actually given the tools to uh, to unpack that. Um, and, uh, you know, that, that the parents should communicate to the children how precious they are in God's eyes. They communicate, obviously, unless they're some kind of monstrous parents, they will communicate to their children how precious the children are in their own eyes, that you're, you're my son, you're my daughter, I love you, and, and there's so much affirmation and love and, uh, and that, that that goes into parenting. Uh, but also to, to broaden the horizon or the vision of that child to, to realize that they have a heavenly father, and by extension, they have a heavenly mother, uh, or lady as well, and um, to see that they are part of this vast family network, which spans not only every nation on earth, but also all the expanse of time. Um, and that they are part of this, this vast family, but they are loved as if they're the only member of the family, that they are loved absolutely and utterly by God. Um, and uh, so that has to be communicated uh, to to the child so that he or she is enabled then to live that new life uh, that that baptism opens up for them. If you liked what you just saw and would like to see the full interview, click on the watch more box above or else click on the link in the description box below. Make sure to also click on the subscribe button above so as to receive more regular content. Thank you.